uh, this uh, will be done to the air of a very familiar old Irish tune. And so I think as I start singing it, you'll probably recognize it fairly quick. song we would sing is the love of Christ who died for me. Such lo lovely words uh, if, if not everybody has uh, a sheet just we can listen to the words of the song. This is uh, another old uh, Irish tune that I think you can recognize straight away and uh, but just wonderful words in, in, in this particular song about the true message of Christ and, and why he came. What do you call
next song we can sing is Approach My Soul, The Mercy Seat. This was a song written by John Newton, the same man who wrote Amazing Grace. I don't know if anybody has ever heard it before. It's a wonderful song, again done to the air of an old melody, which was composed many years ago called uh, The Homes of Donegal. It's familiar. But Approach my soul to mercy seat when Jesus answers prayer. Approach my soul to mercy seat where Jesus answers prayer. Psalm 130, based on Psalm 130 again, a song of, um, of uh, repentance and uh, sorrow for sin. From the depths of shame and from my guilt and my despair, Lord, I cry to you for mercy. Be attentive to my prayer. All my joy. Oh, 
to a smaller sheet, whoever has one. Who can share the heart like Jesus? Okay. Who can share the heart like Jesus by his presence? All divine, true and tender, pure and precious. Oh, how blessed Paul in mind. If I could mention, when I was going to school there, about 20 miles from here, the teacher used to have us get up and sing in class. I mean, honey, you got a clip on the ear if you didn't sing. And this is a song we used to sing not the melody, and yet you might, reckon, you might recognize that anybody who grew up with the Irish language, body nail me, feel him's little boat. And so it fits very nicely, I believe, with who uh, can share the heart like Jesus. So we'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Based on Psalm 125, I think a few, there's not too many of those. I don't think there is there's too many. There. Yeah, but <coughs> if you listen, lovely words again, yeah. you know, I'll sing it out as clear yeah, as I can. And those, uh, uh, I don't know the name of this old melody, but we, I was told by a retired teacher there a few months ago that he, he hadn't heard it in 50 years when we sang it at a Bible study. So, <laughs> it's a bit, okay. So, but wonderful words, if you read, you'll read them in Psalm 125. Those who rely on the Lord are unshakable, firm as Mount Zion, supremely <clears throat> assured. I'm going to try it in this. I'm sure, this might be a bit too high for my vocal cords, but we'll give you a chance. <laughs> to rely on the Lord are unshakable, firm as Mount Zion, supremely sure, just as the mountains encircle Jerusalem round us. God's time 
loves me. O oh Lord, bless the righteous, restrain the impenitent, grant to your people the gift of your peace. I'll sing it one more time. Those who rely on the Lord are unshakable, firm as Mount Zion, supreme. Just as the mountains encircle Jerusalem, round us forever is standing the Lord. Evil shall not always trample on righteousness. God's time will come when oppression shall cease. Lord, bless the righteous, restrain the impenitent. And to your people the gift of your peace. And to your people the gift of your peace. I was just, we can sing if, uh, if there's a few copies of Mission Praise. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask for a copy too, <laughs> if I haven't memorized this. There's a song that I'm, you're probably quite familiar with, Take My Life and Let It Be. And, and, I'm, and um, I'm sure somebody can shout out the number. <laughs> uh, uh, it'll be uh, whoever gets six, there. Six, two, four. Great, thank you. 624, take my life and let it be. Uh, see if I can. Would it be all right if I. Just might need something just to keep this off. Oh, maybe this is. Yeah. 624. Yeah. Anybody want orange ones? 623. 623. 623. Be. Again, I, I think um, a lot of, I'm sure you, many people would recognize, um, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm going to go on half the number. 623, is that what you said? 623 in the orange book. It's 624 in the other one. Sandy? 624 in the other one? Yeah, wow. So 623 or 624.
Thanks very much, Tim. We'll maybe come back after you get your uh, voice.